So today we're unboxing a Turbinique C2 supercharger. Um, this box was actually packaged in, see it here, of September 21st of 1967. So box is in decent shape, has been opened at some point. Um, I'm just going to show you what would have come in your order when you ordered a Turbinique supercharger from Gene Middlebrooks. Back in the day, uh, you would have got a Turbinique decal and Turbinique catalogs, uh, both available at turbinique.com. Earlier style Turbinique catalog, as well as your installation technical manual, and we'll get to this a little later on. There's a lot of interesting information in here. We've got the uh, carburetor mount base here. This would have been part of the supercharger package, and you could either mount this, the carburetor, depending on your layout in your engine compartment, either mount the carburetor right onto the Turbinique supercharger, or you could have this remotely mounted and plumb over to the supercharger. Turbinique did offer a bunch of different plumbing options pre-made uh, that we will get to in a later part of the video. So we're going to unbox it here, uh, get it out, have a look at it. So here we've got the uh, compressor wheel or, or compressor turbine on the supercharger. This will be driven by the rocket engine side of the or hot side of this supercharger. So your carburetor will be mounted on top. Basically like a turbocharger, this is going to spin and blow compression or blow pressure and, and with a draw through carburetor blow fuel as well into your intake manifold for the engine. Uh, the oiling of the oiling system of the Supercharger was pretty simple. They've got this uh, nylon or Teflon line here. You would fill this with oil, take this end off, fill the tube with oil, spin it back on here, and then pressure from the uh, impeller turbine would actually pressurize the oil system and push the oil into the bearing, bearing block in the center of the uh, shaft. And then the oil would be expelled out the exhaust side of the turbine. Uh, Came with a little tag instructing you how to fill this with the mil 7808 synthetic base turbo oil uh, so part number tj-15 substitute oils can result in, in prompt bearing failures it states on the tag here um, got your spark plug for ignition this will be run by a uh, uh, coil pack that would be constantly firing once you've armed the system and uh, right through the uh, fuel process until you shut the ignition off. On the hot side here we have uh, two ports. One would be your uh, oxygen inlet port. This would be to mix oxygen with your fuel. The two would combine in here and be ignited by the spark plug causing pressure within the case here and causing that to drive your uh, turbine wheel see here. Now this being a, a Turbinique assembled unit, the machining is very nice on it. I think the people that bought the kits had a little trouble doing this at home, but you can actually see where the, they've ground the uh, hot side impeller down, uh, presumably to balance it here. Uh, this is going to spin at up to 92,000 RPM as, as they mentioned in the catalog. So, you know, balance is critical if you're trying to do this at home have a very tough time I think trying to get that kind of tolerance on your basic machine shop. Uh, mounting of the, of the supercharger could be done th through these tabs or the additional tabs over on this side. Um, you'd have to build your own brackets depending on what engine you had. And then of course from here your exhaust would dump down underneath the car. This would not necessarily tie into the car exhaust just be a pipe exiting the engine compartment. And yeah, that's a basic overview of the Turbinique C2 supercharger.